after Obaisaka was hosting. Yes, I did not know about Bahrain before, but this is a fascinating exhibition to open my eyes up to the possibilities that Bahrain offers. And I've visited much, many of the uh, different exhibitions here, the sports exhibition, but this I find more fascinating because of the um, the innovation that goes into building mm -hmm. these little small islands off mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. off the um, reclaimed lands from mm -hmm. the sea in Bahrain, and I see that there's going to be a great possibility for the country. Mm -hmm. um, it's very open society. Women are very um, prominent in society, mm -hmm. 
and it's fascinating to me. What do, what do you hear here about the housing project in Bahrain? Well, what, what I you know, I think about what what I've been told is that it's going to be uh, subsidized. It's going to be free housing, not free, uh -huh. but subsidized about 80 percent, I believe, uh -huh. and um, for families that um, that are growing in size. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is going to be a great opportunity for them because they have university stuff going on here, uh, city centers, and great roads. It's going mm -hmm. to be a fascinating city. Which is uh, only in Bahrain. Only in Bahrain, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We will uh, ask you regarding the exhibition. How do you feel when you're here? I'm delighted to be here at the exhibition. And it's a wonderful demonstration of imagination and vision, which I see on every side as I've walked around the exhibition. It's such wonderful people there representing and presenting Bahrain mm -hmm. in a way which I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And I met many people here that I knew because I lived in Bahrain from 1956 until 1996. Mm -hmm. And I was the chief executive of the Bahrain Petroleum Company. Yeah. And uh, so it's a delight to be here and to meet you and all the members of the staff. Mm -hmm. This is Bahrain from uh, New York. Uh, USA. Yes. What does that mean for you? Well, one of the things that amazed me when I was here was the way Bahrain has changed when I see the exhibits, and particularly this exhibit over here of the, the um, expansion and development mm -hmm. of the island. It really is amazing. I'm sure if I went back to Bahrain today, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recognize it mm -hmm. because it has changed so much. And I see that reflected here today in this presentation, which what has is the been wonderful. from seeing this exhibition here in the US? The, the benefit of the exhibition in, Bahrain, in uh, New York is that very few people really understand Bahrain, mm -hmm. what a wonderful place it is. Mm -hmm. And this exhibition has given the people of New York an opportunity mm -hmm. to meet not only Bahrainis, but to see what Bahrain really is all about. And uh, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. It's our pleasure, sir. Thanks a lot for your It's a Thanks pleasure. A lot. Thank you. Okay, hi. My name is Theodore Henderson, and I'm enjoying being here at This Is Bahrain mm -hmm. and learn a tremendous amount both about uh, real estate and these great housing projects that you're doing. And it's a phenomenal project I just learned mm -hmm. about, but also about everything that you're doing with education, which happens to be my field. And I've spoken with the Ministry of Education and also the uh, British School, et cetera. And you're just doing some really tremendous and innovative things. And I'm looking forward to hopefully working with them in some way and doing my part to uh, bridge the gap between the two countries. Yeah. yeah. So do you know more about Bahrain now? I absolutely have increased my knowledge at least 100%. Uh -huh. <laughs> I came here not knowing that much, right? except what I read in the newspaper or maybe saw on Google. Right? Uh -huh. But now meeting the people, meeting some of the businesses, much more diverse and much more interesting than I thought it was. Yes. Thank you. I'm, I'm familiar with Bahrain because um, I'm the vice president of the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce. Uh -huh. And I have my own business as well, which is a travel agency. But I've been involved with the Bahrain Mission in New York for quite a while. As a matter of fact, with the previous Consul General, we did a whole program on Bahrain, mm -hmm. uh, which was very well received. It was very well attended. And I'm glad to see, because this is really the first time that I've seen you focus um, on all the areas that are per pertinent to Bahrain. So I think the more you do, the more you'll get because a lot of people, they hear it, they know it, but they don't really know exactly what mm -hmm. all of the things that you offer and, and, um, and the reciprocity with the United States, mm -hmm. which I think is very important because there's always been a friendly relationship with the United States. Mm -hmm. So I think the more of these events that you do, you attract more people and I think you, be, you like the projects of the growth, um, it's important to know that it's growing and that there are opportunities for this gentleman, for example, to bring his business to Bahrain. Mm -hmm. So there's a, the, I, I think this is a great idea. You really should attend this exhibition. It's a good to know more about Bahrain. Yes, uh -huh. and, and the opportunities that are available in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And the different, I think, the different ethnic groups that are represented mm -hmm. in Bahrain, yes. I think is fabulous. Mm -hmm. The different schools, the different languages, the different sports, I, that's not known. Uh -huh. And I think so it's easy to anybody can come. To yes, uh -huh. absolutely, because there's a lot for them, depending on their interests, there's a lot for them to uh, to be able to look at and, and to learn. It's, it's a learning experience. That's really great.
Thank you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتورة هلا جمال رئيس جمعية الرفاع النسائية الثقافية الخيرية طبعا نشكر تواجدكم من تلفزيون البحرين في هذه الفعالية الكبيرة التي نقيمها الآن في ولاية نيويورك في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية بعد مشاركتنا في ولاية واشنطن الحمد لله أن هذه المشاركة رائعة نرى حضور كبير جدا وبالفعل أننا ننقل رسالة جلالة الملك للمحبة والتسامح والتعايش والود والصورة الحقيقية التي تسود في الحمد لله في مملكة البحرين الحمد لله الجميع يعني أسعده أننا أتينا إلى هنا لننقل هذه الرسالة لقد صورنا فعلا بالنسبة لنا كجمعية الرفاع النسائية الثقافية الخيرية كيف أن المرأة البحرينية قد تفوقت في مجالات عديدة كيف أن برامجنا في جمعية الرفاع سواء من ناحية المحاضرات والتدريب وورش العمل والمرشكات كلها في النهاية إن شاء الله ستدفع البرء البحرينية للأمام حيث أنها تميزت في العديد من المجالات أيضا مشاركتنا لها دور كبير حيث أننا هذه ليس المرة الأولى لن نشارك فيها سبق وشاركنا في برلين وفي بلجيكا وفي فرنسا والآن في الولايات المتحدة ونحن إن شاء الله نترقب الزيارات القادمة لهذا البرنامج الناجح الرائع الذي فعلا مهما تكلمنا عن الدور الذي يمكن أن نؤديه في هذه المشاركات لن نفي حقه لأن مشاركتنا تدل على الكثير كل جهة ممثلة في هذا المعرض لها دور في بيان كل دق كل شيء دقيق في مملكة البحرين في كل المجالات نحن عنا عن جمعية الرفاع الحمد لله أظهرنا هذا الجانب ورأينا الدهشة الكبيرة من من بعض الحضور عندما تكلمنا على على تفوق المرأة البحرينية على كيف أنها تعمل في جميع المجالات كيف أن لها دور في البرلمان وفي الشورى وفي الوزارات وفي المجالس وفي كل يعني المجتمع فعلا رأينا أن الجميع أستق... يعني ليس لديهم الصورة الحقيقية لدور المرأة البحرينية ذكرنا دور المجلس على المرأة الذي طبعا بقيادة صاحبة سمو الأميرة سبيكا ودورها الكبير الذي تقوم به في مجال فعلا إظهار الدور إظهار الإعلامي الأوضح للدور المرأة البحرينية المرأة البحرينية الآن ظهرت والحمد لله الصورة تلمع يوميا والحمد لله هناك العديد من النماذج والسيدات والقيادات الفاعلة ونشكر لكم حضوركم Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your kind attention for a moment, please? Wow, that was quick. Thank you. <laughs> it's my great pleasure and privilege to invite you all here this evening to share dinner with us. I would like to extend a welcome to you from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. His Majesty the King is a great supporter and proponent of freedom of religion, which you've seen this evening. Our society has total religious freedom. We're a people who, who love to welcome people to our shores. We're an open-minded, inclusive society. And as you've seen many amazing things this evening about the Kingdom of Bahrain, I'm sure you'd agree with me on that. We're here in the United States, and boy, are we having a ball. The American welcome has been incredible, so I want to give, I want to ask our delegates to say thank you, America. <laughs> Washington DC followed by New York. What an incredible journey it's been for us. We thank you for welcoming us to your country. We thank you for opening your hearts and your eyes and your ears to us. And we hope from the bottom of our hearts that you've heard our message from the Kingdom of Bahrain to the people of this great nation, the United States of America. Our message is simple. We send you peace and love. Because this is Bahrain. I'd like now to introduce you to um, a member of our Shura Castle, Madame Zahwa.
We're going to have 30 seconds sound bite from three of our most precious people in Bahrain. And you're going to hear something from them about their country and why they're so proud to be Bahraini. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you all to this event. And I hope that we are giving the message that we are coming for, which is that we are in Bahrain, we, are, we welcome everybody, and we hope that we give the right message and the correct message of Bahrain, and this is Bahrain is welcoming everybody, and we hope that you are enjoying this evening, and we are giving the correct and the real picture of our Bahrain, and this is Bahrain. Thank you. Ambassador Karim al Shakir to come and share with you a few words. And if you want to know anything about New York, New York, this is your man. Uh, after what uh, introduction by let's see, I'm, I'm not sure how I, she made me speechless. <laughs> Well, uh, Frank Sinatra, he said, uh, I'm a stranger in Denmark, but I, in this city, I'm not a stranger tonight. <laughs> it's a beautiful city, it's a great city, and a great people. Uh, when I was living here, it's about nine years and a half, uh, people asked me, from where you are? I said, from Bahrain. They don't know where it is. So I told them I am New York, so they believe. So, having coming back in this great city, I just want to thank everyone, uh, one of you who have attended this is Bahrain. We um, rejoice and cherish your friendship, and we hope that you coming by uh, to attend this uh, evening and grace us with your. Uh, grace us to this dinner. You know now a little about Bahrain. It is a little. You know, late Sheikh uh, Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa was a guest uh, at the White House at, uh, during the Reagan administration. I was there, and the astronaut who went to the moon were there, and he said very thing, very something interesting. Uh, Armstrong, he said, Mr. Uh, uh, Armstrong, I hope when you are uh, going to the moon, you have seen a little island in the Gulf of Bahrain. Now, I hope that you had really something about Bahrain. We look forward to see you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. I would now like to ask um, Sheikh Hind Al Khalifa, who is a member of the board of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce, and she's one of Bahrain's leading businesswomen in her own right, and her family are a wonderful family history of philanthropy in the, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Hind, thank you. Your Excellencies, I'm privileged I'm really honored to be part of this roadshow. I didn't expect to see that many people tonight, but my simple message to you is that it's from the people of Bahrain. They have entrusted us with honesty to represent what Bahrain is. Bahrain is a pearl, and the luster of the pearl is whom you see today. It's a community of different cultures, different religions, and different sectors. We are proud to say we are Bahrainis. Please enjoy your dinner, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, Bahrain is open for business. Thank you.